Thanks for registering Profoto. If you haven't used WordPress or Profoto before, this video will give you a quick overview of what you need to know to find your way around. The first place you'll want to visit in the WordPress admin area is Manage Designs, found over here on the left in the Profoto group. This is where you'll select a design template to customize. You can create a copy from an included starter design seen below, or an add-on design purchased and uploaded separately. Use the Upload Design Zip button here to add a design purchased separately. Every design is like a preset created using Profoto. Each uses different features and settings, different colors and graphics, but also different layout choices, WordPress widgets, and other things. Click Create New Design and a fresh copy is made in the Inactive Designs section. When you activate it, it will immediately apply the new look and feel to your site so you can personalize how it looks using Profoto Customize settings. When you activate a new design for the first time, your site appearance will look like the demo of that design, including the default logo, default navigation menu, default mobile navigation menu, and default widgets. You'll configure these specifically for your site. As you personalize a design, it's saved for future use. You can switch between saved designs anytime. You can also copy, import, and export saved designs in this area. The content of your pages and posts is retained. Designs are simply the styling and the layout of your content. Once you activate a design in the Manage Designs area, you'll spend the rest of your time in the Profoto Customize area. You'll add your own style and personality to your site by working with the settings found in these sections. Each area covers a different aspect of your site's appearance. Most of these areas have subpages to help you get straight to what you're looking for. If all these settings make you feel a bit overwhelmed, don't worry. Many of the options don't require any changes. Your site works perfectly once it's installed, but you can work through these areas at your own pace to try out different customizations. You'll probably want to customize the default logo with your own text or graphic. And if your design has masthead images in this header area, or details in the bio area, or contact form, you'll probably want to personalize those areas too. Be sure to use the Quick Access drop menu to go to each customized area. Then, click the tabs along the top for each page of settings. If you have questions or problems as you work in these areas, you'll find help built in. Click the blue More Info icon for a small explanation of what each area is about. Click the red Read Tutorial Lifesaver for a step-by-step -step help in a detailed tutorial. Click the black Watch Video icon for a guided video which walks you through the area so you can see how the settings will affect your site. You can also contact us through our website for help or specific support. Be sure to check out our site for lots more tutorials and videos.